Up until the new millennium, only professional astronauts could leave the Earth and head for the stars. If you're daydreaming of future travels while stuck at home during the pandemic, why fantasize about the beaches of Bali or the canals of Venice when vacationing in space could be in your future? Well, you might want to consider the final frontier as a destination as space is starting to welcome civilians with real-life space hotels. Yes, you heard it right, we can now plan our very own vacation outside Earth, as the world's first space hotel is expected to fully operate by the year 2027. Are you ready for a tour of the most luxurious spaceport in the galaxy? Just sit back and get yourself comfortable as we take a look inside the world's first space hotel. We can all agree that space tourism is not science fiction anymore. Recent headlines of Jeff Bezos' announcement about flying to space on the first crewed flight of the New Shepard in July 20, 2021 might be the beginning of seeing numerous rockets flying in and out of the Earth. Aside from private missions like that to space, some companies are also working on launching space hotels as soon as possible. And one of the projects set to make this dream come true for a lucky few is the Voyager Station Hotel which will be constructed by the Orbital Assembly Corporation established by the Gateway Foundation. Plans for the space hotel were first revealed in 2019 under the name Von Braun Rotating Space Station, but there's been a bit of rebranding since then. John Blinko, the chief executive of Orbital Assembly, told the Washington Post that the coronavirus pandemic ultimately delayed the construction start date from its original 2025 projection. But despite the few setbacks, the hotel is expected to begin construction in 2026 and could be open for business as early as 2027. The designs of Voyager are based on Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, but not in the way you might think. Designers of the Voyager station see Kubrick's design as intentionally sterile and isolating, and they want to go down exactly the opposite route, creating a homely but fashionable space location that will feel somewhat normal in its more conventional hotel attributes. The wheel-shaped space hotel is expected to accommodate around 400 people, which will be composed of 112 crew members and 280 guests. Visitors will have plenty of entertainment options, including a 400-person viewing spot, large enough to host everyone on board, which will be combined with a lounge and bar. Other facilities will also include a spa, a gym, themed restaurant, a basketball court, a cinema, and even a concert venue. We're trying to make the public realize that this golden age of space travel is just around the corner. It's coming, and it's coming fast," Blinko told CNN in an interview. Taking its cue from science fiction films like Interstellar, Voyager Station will create artificial gravity using centrifugal force. The hotel will take on the shape of a ferris wheel spinning to simulate gravity in its pods. The concept of the 650-foot wide space hotel is to have it move with a high angular velocity to produce levels of artificial gravity similar to the moon to acclimate its inhabitants and guests. 24 living modules that are 20 meters long and 12 meters wide are what the hotel will be composed of and will pivot on its own to create an artificial gravity that will permit its guests to stand and do everyday activities. The artificial gravity in the hotel will be the same level of gravity found on the moon, which is about one-sixth of the gravity found here on Earth. At an altitude of 1,900 kilometers, the Voyager station will go around the Earth every one and a half hours. The physics involved in sleeping within this space hotel is similar to spinning water in a bucket, much in the same way one can spin a bucket in a circle. Keeping the water inside of it, the space hotel will similarly simulate gravity, and this will permit space vacationers to still be able to eat normally, sleep soundly, and enjoy the hotel's furnishings as close to normal as possible. According to a report, another reason to create artificial gravity is that visitors will not experience the moon phase, which is the unwanted effects of microgravity and the body's distribution of fluid functions. As for the Voyager station crew, it will incorporate a group of space tourists, service industry experts, and of course, scientists researching in case that there are any problems encountered in the space hotel. They'll also be researching how to improve its current procedures, facilities, and technologies. However, getting into the Voyager station is no walk in the park because the space tourists and crewmates must undergo the proper training and preparation first before calling themselves the first people to stay at a space hotel. Apparently, it will cost an aspiring space vacationer $5 million for a three-and-a-half-day stay at a space hotel. With this value, we can say that not everyone can afford to make their lifelong dream come true. So hopefully, the cost will go down as the years pass by to make the hotel more accessible to the public. The plan scheduled for constructing a hotel in space is aspiring yet complex considering the scale and size of the Voyager space station. 
To demonstrate its semi-automatic robotic construction technology, the organization expects to deploy its full-scale prototype that's 40 meters in diameter first. If that's been accomplished, the organization will then continue to build the full-scale model. Regardless of what year or decade it happens, commercial space travel and tourism will likely be a reality and even become normal sooner than most of us anticipate. The Voyager station may not be a permanent place for us to live, but it is definitely a significant step towards the future of traveling and living in space. Well, are you planning to check into this space hotel? If you are, then what would you do on your first day at the Voyager station? Let us know in the comments section down below, and we hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more awesome and substantial videos like this one. Thanks for watching.